The FDA has just issued their highest warning for the antibiotic Cipro, calling for the use of the so-called black box warning label. They say the use of antibiotic drugs such as Cipro can lead to tendonitis and a ruptured tendon, a condition that leaves some patients incapacitated. Any patients currently taking Cipro are ordered to stop taking it immediately if they develop any tendon pain, swelling, or inflammation. The new stronger warning labels would apply to makers of the potent class of antibiotics, including, as I mentioned, Cipro, Leviquin, Floxin, among other antibiotics. NBC's Robert Bazell joins me now to help us understand this latest warning. Bob, good to see you. Uh, what does this mean for people who are taking Cipro? Well, first of all, if you're taking an antibiotic right now and you're not having tendon pain, don't stop taking it okay. because you hear this warning because your infection could come back in a much more serious way. So that's very important. And this all started two years ago when Public Citizen Health Research Group, a consumer organization in Washington, filed a petition from the FDA saying that there had been an unusually large number of people who were having tendon problems when, when they were taking this class of antibiotics that includes Cipro, which is called fluoroquinolones, uh, and uh, Floxin and Cipro are the most common. Uh, this is not doesn't mean that everybody who takes these antibiotics and millions of people get prescribed these drugs every year gets the tendon problems. There were hundreds of people out of the millions who took it who ha who had the tendon problem. So it's very important to put this in perspective. This is a warning to patients and doctors that if you have problems with your tendons while you're taking these drugs, you should pay attention to it. But don't stop taking the antibiotics okay. and don't refuse to take antibiotics if it's the antibiotic that's necessary to treat an infection. But even when you you hear that it's the highest warning for uh... well, the FDA has only a few things it can do. It can take something off the market, which it's certainly not going to do in this case, or it can issue this very strong warning that's on the box. These are already prescription medications, not something you buy in the drugstore, that tells doctors and physicians, to, uh, physicians and patients to be aware of this danger. So be aware of it. If you have tendon problems, right. see your doctor, but don't stop taking your antibiotics if you hear this. All right. Thanks for the understanding on it. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank Good you. to see you.